backing up my truck I'm gonna hook it up Loading up my boat with all my gear I've been working hard all week Trying to make ends meet Spending time wishing I was fishing Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing Gather up your gear and come along Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing this is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. We're out here today on Lake Powell in Utah. And with me is Pete DuBois. Pete? Hi, Terry. Pete and I are friends. We go back quite a ways. We fish, in fact, we've fished Lake Powell a number of times. A number of times, yes. We're going to try to show you some of the different species and types of fish you can catch in Lake Powell and some of the ways to do it. I think we're going to have a really good time, don't you? Oh, we are going to have a good time and we're going to catch some fish. This is a great lake. I love it. Let's get at it. Oh, it's beautiful today. It's just nice. This is such a beautiful country. I mean, yeah, it's just this. This is just. I mean, if you don't catch a fish back here, just being, just being in this, uh, the canyons and stuff at Lake Powell are so incredible. The scenery is so beautiful. It's just a tremendous experience. If you live anywhere in the Western United States, you have to get out and experience Lake Powell. Whether you're a fisherman. We want to just bring the family out camping, boating, just having a good time. It's just a tremendous recreation area and the fishing can be phenomenal. So do yourself a favor, if you live anywhere within the western United States, the mountain region, experience Lake Powell and have some fun. Oh wow, yeah. Great bulls. I bet you those are stripers. You think? That'd be my guess. Crappie. Crappies. Oh, Look nice at that. Crappie. Look at the size of that crappie on a big tube jig. Hey, why don't you throw your marker out right here? Marker? Since we're in a good school. I got crappie Yeah. No need. Look what I caught it on. <laughs> Just right, right there is fine. Hey, that's all right. I think we'll keep him. That's a nice crappie. Uh, we got the spot mark. We can we can fish it pretty good. There they are in the electronics. We're right over them again. Let's see if we can get. There's got, another one. Oh, all right. Uh oh, you got me in a tree. Got you in a tree. You're gonna be able to get him. I got him. Got yeah, him coming. Good, good job. <laughs> he swam into a tree there. From there must be a bush that they're hanging on. All right. Flip him up here. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> That's the LDR. Quickly, how are we going to have them for dinner if you do that? Well, I got me one. Oh. <laughs> Boy, thank goodness for bifocals when you get to be my age. <laughs> All you baby boomers out there. There's one. Nice bass. Sure, I'm rigging up for crappie and you're catching bass. Yes, sir. See how you are? Well, I'm going to keep rigging before I help you with that. You're going to have to, I'll get out of your way so they can see you, but I'm going to land, you're going to have to land it yourself. Gee, thanks. Large mouth. It is a nice fish. You sure you caught that? Yes, sir. All on my own. Are you sure you don't want to change baits? I've got a bait like that on my other rod. I just have to pick it up and fish with No, it. I just thought maybe while you were doing that, I'd try to catch another one. We can hover over them with the trolling motor and vertically jig them. How many did you see? There was a bunch of them down there. All right. That goes in the live well. This one's lunch. Yeah, there you go. Short lunch. 
Shore lunch, nice walleye. Nice eater walleye. Boy, dark color, healthy fish. Yes, sir. Fish on. Smally. Small mouth. There we go. Nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. I guess I just ought to get out of the way, huh? I'll get him. You know, one thing about... There we go. All right. Nice small mouth. Hey, that's a nice one there. Yeah. They're not liking my chartreuse too well. I might have to put one of them you smoke know, ones on. I've done real good with walleyes and chartreuse, but never done real good on the small mouth mm -hmm. with chartreuse. Smokes in this clear water is probably... That's what I'm using. Your best smoke color. Up. Yeah. Like what we've got here is a rock. We're in like 24 feet of water. Mm -hmm. Got the wind blowing in here. And we've got that edge. And around there, we can see the fish in the depth finder holding yeah. right on the bottom of that. I think there might be some walleyes down there too. Get him back and see if we can get some more in there. All right. He was right on the bottom. Yeah, was, he was. He was vertically jigging right below the boat. I saw him on the graph there a moment ago. Looked like three different fish. Yeah, I think there's probably some more down here. We should hover off the edge of this rock for a while and try to fish it a little bit, see what yeah, we can do. The wind blowing us in on there. I'm trying well, to that should be an indication to us that we're catching those fish deep. Mm -hmm. We have, we've, haven't been catching a lot of fish shallow. Maybe we're going to have to fish these 20, 25 foot depths. Yeah. Pick out some of these isolated spots like this. You know, a fish here, a fish there in a hump. It's a tough day. We had a front come through, but we're still catching plenty of fish, but we're working for every one. We're 24 feet, we got this rock right here. We're showing fish on the depth finder. And they're not holding up on the rock, they're holding right down the bottom below the rock. We're, we're out away from that rock a little bit. Yeah, and it's just vertically jigging it right below the boat. We got smallmouth, and there, I'm sure that there's gonna be some other fish down here. There we, oh, there we go. Oh. We got, it feels, like, it feels like a walleye, but I don't know for sure. It's pumping a little bit. It's not a big, it's not a monster, but it's a, oh yeah, nice, decent little. That's a walleye. Lunch size walleye. You bet. Oh, he poked me. Well, just because, just for that. Got him hooked good enough. Yeah, he's going in the live well. He'll go with the other one, we'll have lunch. Look at, look at his eye right here. Huh. It's a kind of a different shade color eye there. Yeah, it is, it's that's like weird. He's blind in that one eye or something. It could be. Well, we're gonna get him in the live well and try to get some more out of there. There we go. Shore lunch. Yeah. There's just a little bit of shortage of firewood around this lake, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. So we might have a tough time building us a fire for that shore lunch. Well, we'll take them back to the camper. <laughs> well, we're not catching one right after the other today. It's been, you know, it's, we're cold, working for what we've got. This cold front came through the last couple of days, the water temperature dropped. The wind's been blowing a little bit, but we're catching fish. It just shows you when you're on a quality fishery, mm -hmm. even when the fishing work gets hard. tough, if you work for it, you can get some fish. But this is a nice little bay back here. Yeah. And you can see the brush comes out, the rocks, there's a ledge drops off right here. I'm gonna try to run this crankbait of yours right down along this right ledge. Right down that ledge? Yeah. Right off the edge. You know, fish relate to edges a lot. All animals, you know, you, people who hunt and, uh, you know, deer will be on the edge of the field where the forest starts or the road. That's right. And, uh, animals just relate to edges. And if you fish edges, whether it's the edge of a drop off, the edge of the brush, the edge weed of the line. cliff, the weed line, a change in depth, a change in bottom. That's the key. You know, they actually did an experiment with some bass in a tank where they took a solid white tank and put bass in it and they were all over the tank. They painted a black line through the center of the tank, a line, and the fish related to that black line. Just to the line. Just to a line. That's how edge-oriented fish That's become. incredible. There we go. There we go. What do you got? I think it's a striper. Boy, they can pull, can't they? Here, I'll get the net. <laughs> He's down deep. We'll let him come up, work a little bit. On your bait. Clatter shad, huh? Yeah. Blue one. Here he comes. You ready? Here he comes. Yeah, I'm ready. There we go. All right. Wow. That's a heavy fish. Yeah. Lake Paul Striper. 
on the clatter shad. Clatter shad, I clatter, said that right? Yeah. I don't want to right. misrepresent. You know, this bait has got a tremendous finish. What a lure. Thank you. <laughs> they sure work, I'll tell you that. I get the hook out of them. Let's see if I can get the hook. Yeah, hand me the players there. I got them. You got it. Well, you got good sharp hooks though, because now I'm hooked on it. Got a hook in one. Yeah, those are those uh, Mustad triple grips. I got them. We'll get the hook out of the net in a minute. Okay. Here we go. Nice. That's a nice fish. Lake Paul striper. What do you think that is? Kind of, kind of skinny. I'll bet he weighs five, six pounds. Nice fish, though. Oh yeah. Put him in the live well. There's no limit on these. Might as well keep a few you to keep eat. Keep all you want. Yeah. We'll keep a couple. We'll get some good fillets off him. All right. Well, thanks for letting me use your lure. I appreciate hey, you're it. You're welcome. That worked out really well. All nice you gotta fish. do is repeat that a couple more times. We'll be doing good. You bet. There we go. All right. Let's get some more. There's one. Oh, all right. oh, all right. Large mouth. <laughs> on a spinnerbait? Spinnerbait. Need some help? Uh, he's pulling pretty good. Oh, that's a nice fish. I think I can get him. All right. Good, I'll keep fishing. You've been catching more fish than me. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Nice largemouth. I'll tell you, there's sure diversity of fish in this lake. It's a pretty fish. It is. That's a nice fish. Do you think we ought to let him go? Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to keep any bass. We'll let the guys in the tournament have them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll put him right back here where we got him from. All right. There he goes. Right to the deep water. All right. Good job. Thank you. Right. Good deal. Spinnerbait bass. There's one. <laughs> About threw me out of the boat. What is it? Smallmouth. Ooh, nice smallmouth. Got him? Got him. All right. Ooh, nice smallmouth. What'd you get him on? Zipper worm. A zipper worm. A zipper worm. You might want to tell the folks at home what a zipper worm is. A zipper worm is worm that looks like a zipper with a tail. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go along with that. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I, every time Actually, I Actually, it does. Every you time know, I'm throwing... The size of it looks just like a zipper. You know, every time I'm throwing soft plastic, you catch a fish on a hard bait. So I switch to a hard bait, you catch a fish on a soft plastic. Yeah. So I don't know whether to switch now or to stay with this hard bait. I'll tell you. I think I'll stay with this hard bait for a while, but if you catch another one, I'm going to switch. As tough as it is, I think that all it is is just putting the bait in front of the fish. And yeah. If you do that, you're going to get bit. Covering water and finding some active fish. Nice fish. Get him up close. I'll I'm trying. He's, I might need to tighten the drag a little bit because I ain't gaining much too much here. Okay, here he comes. He's coming up now. Oh, yeah. Nice large Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, Boy, he, he got it, it deep, Woo. too. Fired. I'm going to let you get it out. I'm going to go fishing. Hey. Come on, what's the buddy for? You get him unhooked, I'm gonna get to fishing. You're catching all the fish. Way to go, good job. We know there's lots of ways to enjoy fishing. We're out here on Lake Powell, we've been bass fishing. You've seen us catching crappies and walleyes, just having a good time. But if you wanna come out and relax and catch fish probably bigger than you'll normally catch any other time in your life for the average fisherman. It's time now for Terry's Tackle Tip of the Week. All we're doing is here, let me show you what we got. We're drifting here, right along these cliff walls, fishing for stripers with live bait. Real simple setup. An egg sinker, sliding egg sinker, a hook 
with a piece of an anchovy on it. And all we're doing is putting that in the water and counting it down 35 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. We're just going to get down about thirty-five feet. It doesn't have to be very exact. That's the depth we found we're catching them at today. Now, different days you might have to experiment. They might be deeper or shallower. It might work better. So you have different guys try some different depths. But now you can have a bunch of people in the boat. You're just drifting around, having a good time. Uh, we're going to catch some nice big fish and just enjoy it, and it's not hard to do. You'll catch big fish. You can take your kids with you. It's a relaxing way to fish, and it's a lot of fun. That was Terry's Tackle Tip for this week, and now back to more angling adventures. Going to watch the wall here, too, at the same time. All right. Here. I am. All righty. Give me a pair of pliers. Please. Please, sir. Thank you. I wasn't going to lose that one. I got a hook set in him. In fact, I might ruin the hook getting it out. Here we go. Nice fish. Wait, a little fatter. Papers. That's a nice fat one. The fun you can have at Lake Powell is just incredible. Stripers, bass, walleyes, crappies. It's just a good time. You got to get up and try it. Live well. And then get some more. They seem to hang right up by the wall, don't they? Is that why you've got me out here in the middle of the lake now? Uh huh. Thank you. This stuff smells so bad, I think they'll swim out here from that wall to get it. They, they probably want it. will. It's really those, we're using. Uh, Anchovies, you can't use live minnows here at Powell, so they're, an they're dead anchovies you buy from the um, tackle store. And they're, uh, they got quite an oily odor to them. <laughs> Although they're nothing compared to if you guys watched us catfishing with uh, shad guts, fermented shad guts. You think these are bad, Pete? You gotta give those a try. You just tell me when you're gonna do that again, and uh, I'll make sure I'm down here bass fishing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right. I'm going to hand land this one. All right. Little one. Little oh, bitty. Oh, little bitty one. That's what I've been wondering all along a since I just been. A little bitty one. Let me see that. You want to hand land it? Since I just been pecking at my bait, I've been wondering if they weren't little fish and not a bigger one. Do you want me to show you the um, ones, compare this to what I got and see whose is bigger? No, we better not. This is when. That was my fish. <laughs> you can't catch bigger than that. You don't deserve to keep them. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you know, this is fishing that anybody can enjoy. I love it. Coming down, you and I, we spent a lot of time fishing these bass. We, you know, where you need to little, have a little bit of knowledge of presentation mm -hmm. techniques and things, but just drifting along here with his bait, you know, it's, it's, anybody can do it and you catch some awfully nice fish. I don't know how many. I was going to say, I don't know how many bites we've had. I better help you get that one. Let me, let me get this in, see if you can hang on to him, and I'll get this. I got this. him. It's a good striper. All right. Ugh, I'll try to lip him. Here he comes. Come on. All right. Oh, you know, as big as that fish is, and that's, for most people, that's a, that's a nice fish. For me, that's a nice fish. Well, for anybody, that's a nice fish. Certainly. But when certainly. you're out here doing this, that's an average lace pile stripe. That's what you're going to catch. Yeah, you can come out here, and we caught some little bitty ones too. We saw everybody we, we saw drifting along this bank catching fish just like this. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And numbers of them. And you can keep, there's no limit. No size limit, no 
number limit. There's so many of these fish in this lake, they want you to come catch them. And they're good to eat. Certainly they are. In fact, we're going to take a couple and put them in the live well. Let's get some more. Well, way to go, guy. Great deal. Way to go. Thank you. Well, I tell you what, we've caught a lot of fish. It's been a lot of fun. You yeah. bet. You bet. But we're not done yet. <laughs> There's many more like that. I'm going to get back in the water. There's many more where that one came from. It's getting to be close to the end of the day, but I've sure had a good time these days fishing Lake Paul with you. Oh, why? Oh, there. One more fish before we go. All right. Ooh, you a want nice... the net? Yeah, I'm going to try to get them by hand. Seems right. like a pretty good one, though. Okay. Boy, these things can pull. Man, they're a strong fish. I'll tell you what, anybody that doesn't come up and experience these fishing for these fish doesn't know what they're missing. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Well, he knows that he's pulling hard. It's a pretty stiff rod. He's coming, though. I'm going to get him up quick so we can go have some dinner. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, it is. I'll be ready just in case. There. Go good. Good show. Big Paul Stripers. I'll tell you what. You can catch fish like this. It's just a blast. Pete. I want to thank you, Terry, and Joe, every minute of it, for being my guide on Lake Paul. We had a great time. We caught lots of fish. Uh, great weather, good friends. It's just been a wonderful experience. 